Let us please go before the Lord in prayer to ask for His grace and mercy and wisdom and the Holy Spirit's guidance on our lesson for today. Let us please kneel in prayer. Oh, our gracious, glorious, heavenly and holy Father, we, your children, gather again before you through the blessed name of our wonderful Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to thank and praise you for granting us a new day, a new week, a new opportunity to hear your word. We ask, Holy Father, you know what we need. Please grant us the presence, wisdom and knowledge from your Holy Spirit so that what we learn today will be a new beginning of our understanding of your holy scriptures so that what we hear what we learn what we understand fully will enable us to continue to activate all the principles of the gospel that the lord jesus christ proclaimed and allowed us all to be part of heavenly father we are grateful again that we have this opportunity and now submit ourselves to hearing your word through the blessed name of our lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. For our hymn today, we will sing this favorite hymn that is required for us of all and everyone around the world uh, who knows about what it means to be a Christian. And the hymn is 147, 147. And uh, the hymn says, Ye must be born again. And the tune is, A ruler once came to Jesus by night To ask him the way of salvation and light the master made answer to in words true and plain ye must be born again again ye must be born again again ye must be born again again I verily, verily say unto thee, ye must be born again, again. Let us all sing, ye must be born again. A ruler once came to Jesus by night to ask him the way of salvation and light. The master made answer in words true and plain, ye must be born again, again. Ye must be born again, again. Ye must be born again, again. I verily, verily say unto thee, Ye must be born again. Children of men, attend to the word so solemnly uttered by Jesus the Lord, and let not this message to you be in vain. Ye must be born again, again. Ye must be born again, again. Ye must be born again, 
Today, by God's grace, is from the wonderful gospel of the beloved John, chapter 3, and here is God's word for us all, for everyone who attains eternal life, who wants to be found in heaven with all the other loved ones who have gone ahead of us. And what is God's word saying? The Gospel of John, chapter 3, reading from verse 1, which says, There was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews, too. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest, except God be with him. 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. 4. Nicodemus said unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? 5. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, 
except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 6. That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the Spirit is spirit. 7. Marvel not that I said unto thee, Ye must be born again. 8. The wind bloweth where it listed, and thou hearest the sound thereof, but canst not tell whence it cometh and whither it goeth. So is every one that is born of the Spirit. 9. Nicodemus answered and said unto him, How can these things be? 10. Jesus answered and said unto him, Art thou a master of Israel, and knoweth not these things? 11. Verily, verily, I say unto thee, We speak that we do know, and testify that we have seen, and ye receive not our witness. 12. If I have told you earthly things, and ye believe not, how shall ye believe if I tell you of heavenly things? 13. And no man hath ascended up to heaven, but he that came down from heaven, even the Son of Man, which is in heaven. Amen. Let's just stop there. Verses 1 to 13 of the Gospel according to St. John. This is a great message for everyone. Everyone who says he or she is a Christian. The question is, have we been born again? We all have this uh, wonderful um, expectation that, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm a Christian, and I'm going to heaven, which is wonderful. But the question is, have we been born again? Being born again has to be according to how the Lord Jesus Christ Explained. And what he did, he, the Son of God, humbled himself to be baptized by John in the river. So if a Christian or somebody who says a Christian, we, all of us, some of us have not been baptized because of one reason or the other. But if we consider what we have just read here and the hymn that we sang which is reminding us that we must be born again. You must be born again. There's no other way. So if someone says, I'm a Christian, fine. But have you been born again? In the same way that our Lord Jesus Christ was born. If we cannot confirm that we have been born again in the river, it is not the baptism in the house, or baptism in the church, or baptism of sprinkling water. The Lord Jesus Christ could have been sprinkled water on, but he walked out, came to John to be baptized. And so this commandment that the Lord Jesus Christ has given to this uh, Nicodemus, the ruler, he was a teacher, he was, but then he didn't know of course, it's only the time that um, John the baptizer came and baptized him that everybody uh, knew that. So the Lord Jesus Christ brought a new teaching 
to you and me, to all of us, that we must be baptized. So anyone who has not yet been baptized in the river should consider because a Christian who has not been baptized, I'm sorry to say, it's not, he can be spiritual in so many ways, but if he has not undergone this baptism in the river, then he needs to uh, pray for an opportunity. And by the grace of God, I am available to initiate or provide the baptism in the river. Actually, we have one close by. So, anyone who needs that, of course, sometimes we have to ask the question, can anybody be baptized? We have to get to the age I would say college. Infant baptism is known. People who are in elementary school know. Um, well, it is better to be baptized when a person in the college. That allows a person to have that spiritual growth, spiritual understanding that, okay, I've studied the scriptures. And if one has finished college and has not been baptized, they have to, you know, start making the effort. It is a spiritual matter. It is not a matter of, uh, I have to wait, I want to wait all this. And from God's word, what did he say? Verse 1, there was a man of the Pharisee named Nicodemus. A ruler of the Jews. You see, he was a ruler. He was teaching them. Verse 2. The same came to Jesus by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from God. For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except God be with him. True truth. Verse 3. Jesus answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man and a woman be born again, he or she cannot see the kingdom of God. Hmm. This is a straightforward commandment that the Lord Jesus Christ is giving. Except a man or woman be born again. He cannot, he cannot see the kingdom of God, which means you can't get to heaven. No matter the spirituality that you have. So may God help us to submit ourselves Going into the baptismal water is just, you know, five minutes, you are done, or less than that. So I pray that anyone who is old enough, college or adult, or into any other age, apart from the college, college and high, can submit themselves. They can be baptized anyway by any uh, preacher, any minister. But if we have an opportunity, by God's grace, I'm making myself available. If I have to travel to do it, I will travel to do it. But this is God's word. So may God help us so that we surrender. Nicodemus, verse 4, said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be baptized? You know, uh, sometimes we may laugh at it and say, but he didn't know. And so the Lord Jesus Christ was teaching and explaining 
Verse 5, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man and a woman be born of water and of the Spirit, he and she cannot enter into the kingdom of God. So it is really clear. Let us not assume that, oh, I, I have known the scripture. Knowing it's not. Obeying is what counts. So may God help us so that we will surrender our lives to God to be baptized. And again, it is a sign that we have obeyed God's instructions. I pray that this message will allow anyone who has not been baptized to surrender themselves to be baptized. There are so many scriptures that I can quote, but the main part is that what is Christ saying? What he is saying is that we need to be baptized. It's a, it's a process that God has made for all. And so, may God help us all, our loved ones, our children, our relatives, our neighbors, to encourage them that they must be born again. If you are not born again, we can be a Christian a hundred years. If the baptism of water has not been done, I'm sorry, uh, we have not yet been granted that process of entering heaven. Remember, the Lord Jesus Christ did it. He was old. He was. He didn't have to. But then he did it as an example for you and me. May God help us to surrender our lives to God so that he can do what is necessary for us all. Amen? Amen. We thank God for this message. And it is God's word. And may God help us to get it done sooner or later. But sooner. Amen.